Well, more than 150 members of the Kentucky National Guard are on their way right now to the Middle East. The 206th Engineer Battalion, based out of Owensboro, today left the National Guard Armory for their mission. I would just use my picket was there for one of the send-offs in Owensboro. Before they boarded the buses, taking them to their flight, they saw their families one more time. Emotional. <laughs> just saying goodbye, and we've never had to do that before. He's never been deployed. This is his first deployment. Um, so this is the longest we've ever been apart from each other. The more closer it gets, you know, the more nervous we get. Scott and Missy Butler not only saw their son board these buses, they also escorted him to the airport as part of the Patriot Guard riders. I cried. Give it cried. Give it to I'm, this lady I'm very right excited, here. you know. I'm honored. It's my honor Thank to be able you. to escort these soldiers to the airport, you know, and watch them fly out. So, and it's really nice to see all these patriotic people out here to be out here to see them send off. The battalion will handle construction missions as part of Operation Inherent Resolve. Their trip from the armory to the airport filled with well wishers, waving flags, cheering them on. As they boarded the first of two flights, Pat McHugh drove more than five hours from Maysville to see her niece, Sergeant Madison Simpson. It's reality hit me. She's really leaving, even though I knew. Uh, but seeing him get on the plane just, you know, it just kind of hits you in the gut. She says her family was torn up about not seeing her for a year, but her niece told her she'll be safe. It just hurts to see her go so far away, and I'll be worried about her. She doesn't seem to be afraid. She thinks it's going to be an exciting experience. I just wish them all the best on God's speed to all of them. Absolutely. Godspeed to all of them. Now, family members we talked with say that they'll use Skype and other social media tools to keep in touch with them while they're out of the country.